Well, hi everyone, it's Joe for Joe for Hire. It's Friday, uh, I believe it's October 17th. No, 18th, because this is the last day of the GIE, <laughs> which I'm not there this year, uh, but hopefully next year. Anyways, uh, I want to do a little quick, uh, about two and a half or three year review on my Cub Cadet SC700D. Um, it's all wheel drive, so both the front and back wheels drive. Overall, I've been really happy with the cut. Um, we have a lot of hills in the area where I'm from, uh, so it's helped save a lot. And I realized that when this one broke and I had to use my old lawn boy, which is not self-propelled, it's not all-wheel drive, I'm the self-propelled, <laughs> that I almost wore myself out pushing that thing one day. And I'll show you why it broke. It broke, well, my dad's rewelded it. It broke on the inside of this handle. So it basically made it useless. And um, like I say, overall, guys, I've been really happy with the four-wheel drive. Um, honestly, it mulches the best in thick, heavy grass. It does not bag well. I know I had another guy he helping me one time. He goes, there's nothing going in the bag. And I said, because it's too thick. Uh, side discharge, it does have a shoot with it. And people say, why don't you put the discharge chute on it? Because usually it clogs up, and guess what? You're mulching it anyways. Um, it does have a starter on it. Uh, the battery drained itself because I used it so much. I don't have an uh, electric source out here, so I never seem to get around to charging it. Um, that's kind of my fault. Some of it's, a lot of it's my fault, some of it's not. Um, the odd thing is, the switch for the starter flew off when I was transporting it. I don't know why that happened. Uh, another small thing, the cover, there's a nice orange uh, yellow cover here. Uh, it's held in by clips and one small screw. Uh, it flew off one day. I usually, I think what's happened is every time you go to remove the spark plug, if you're changing the blades or scraping it, I pull it off and it, it catches the cover and it pulls the screw loose. So I think that's what's happened over time. Like I say, it's a combination of me, a uh, combination being used every day, and um, I'll show you some of the other problems I've had. There was a uh, yellow bumper that attaches here. It snapped off. Um, it's not like I'm using it as a ramrod for ramming things. So I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, my dad's had that it was cracked here behind the rear wheel uh, front wheel um, I don't know how well you're going to see this. It was also cracked up here and a big crack Happened there So my dad spent holiday Thanksgiving Monday welding my mower um, So I was very appreciative of that But then when he fixes my stuff I get there's never a charge for fixing my stuff but I get the lecture. And as much as I love this more with the all-wheel drive, uh, <laughs> Dad pointed out to me a couple important things. One, it is not a full commercial mower. Um, probably the problem why it's cracking behind the front wheels, it, to my dad's point of view, is the fact that they've taken a basic residential mower and they put the front-wheel drive system on it and it's not heavy enough to be used for commercial use. I have used it for the last three years. This year, I've had the most amount of issues with it. Um, now this cracking, it's mainly, mainly because likely I bumped into it. I'm not saying it's a garbage mower. I'm just saying after three years of me using it for commercial use, it's taken the toll in the mower. So my dad's patched it up. Um, I am going to talk to my Cub Cadet dealer about it. Like, you know, what, what are they supposed to say? They know I'm commercial. They know it's not a commercial mower. They sold me the mower, um, but it's done very well. Um, it wasn't this, it's not a cheap mower. It's roughly about $700, I believe, when you get the tax on it, because uh, of this all wheel drive. Uh, the battery, the push start was a nice feature when I had it. Um, the all wheel drive super. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit more reinforced behind the wheels and the and the deck was reinforced because basically my dad says hopefully you get to finish the season with it 
he's not sure if it'll last next year or not. Uh, Motor-wise, no issues with the motor. None at all. It fires up first or second pole every time. Really happy with the engine. It's a Cub Cadet source engine. The only problem is I'm having problems finding an air filter aftermarket. Only because I'm not able to get to my Cub Cadet dealer all the time for just an air filter. Um, and all the aftermarkets cannot source it. I tried two different sources, they can't find it. So that's something I'll have to go back to my dealer for. Um, it's a little tricky to change the oil. Well, it's not tricky, it's just messy. There is no drain plug. Or sorry, there is, it's right there. And it basically spills out into the deck. Um, maybe I can get by one of those oil instructors from Canadian Tire or TSC, or a tractor supply for our viewers down in the States. Um, but overall, there's a lot of pros and cons. Um, up until now, the pros had weighted the cons, but now after three years, like I said, you know, I can't just say it's a junk mower. I use it a lot. It's cut a lot of grass. Um, likely a lot more than what maybe it should have. Um, I don't feel I abused it more. It's just the regular, everyday, repetitive use. And I do rely on it quite a bit. And uh, I know when that handle broke, that kind of threw me off because I never had a handle break on the mower. And uh, my lawn boy, my dad gave me this scenario. My grandfather's lawn boy, he brought brand new in 1988. It's a full commercial mower. It had the aluminum deck on it. Um, we never had the deck crack. We never had the handle break. I bent the handle because I was being stupid and not loading it correctly. That was my fault. But I've never bent the handle on the lawn boy. Uh, does it have all the safety features? No. Is it all-wheel drive? Absolutely not. It's self-propelled. But I'm saying in 30 years, <laughs> that mower has been fairly cheap to maintain. Yes, we have to do some maintenance on it every spring. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard when, you know, you spend a lot of money and then you hear your dad say, well, this thing's pretty much worn out and it's only been three years. Um, you know, obviously that's the difference between upgrading to a turf master that's fully commercial. I know they had a, a lot of contractors have had a lot of issues with the time masters. Some say they don't, some say they do. Um, but guys, you got to be careful how you spend your money. I don't regret buying this because of the all wheel drive. It saved me a lot of time. And like I said, going back to the to my lawn boy, I realized how much time it has saved me because it takes a lot of effort to push it, even though it's lighter than this. Uh, it is heavy too because of the all wheel drive. But yeah, if future, if Cub Cadet could reinforce behind the deck, behind the wheels, and around there, um, I think overall that'd be great. Like I said, some of the other stuff, guys, I'll be honest, it was my fault. I don't think the switch was my fault. I don't know why it flew out. Um, the cover, it's not a huge deal. Uh, the bag, like I say, it's a great mulcher. It will side discharge, but if you're in thick, heavy grass, it will plug up and then you're mulching it anyways and in the bag and thick heavy grass it won't bag it that much uh, but it is handy to have i actually had one customer that preferred this more on his property than my x mark laser z um i didn't know how to take him when he said that in one way i think it's a, a slam against my x mark or he's just being really fussy not thing not knocking the qual the cut quality on the cub cadet but there's no reason my axe mark can't cut his lawn. Uh, it's a big enough lawn. There's lots of room for the rider to turn around. He's just being extremely fussy because he has two fussy neighbors on either side of him and they use a push mower. So I'm guessing that's where he's coming from. He just wants his lawn to look like his neighbors with the same marks. And, um, and it does take a little bit longer. So next year, um, chances are the price of his lawn's going to go up because it takes me longer. Even if it's 10 minutes, people don't understand. Well, it's only 10 minutes extra. Yeah, but it's 10 minutes extra I shouldn't need to be spending there. And that's 10 minutes that takes out of my day. And then he wants to talk to me for another 20 minutes. So, so like I say, he's a nice guy. Um, a little on the particular side, but he has two particular neighbors. Payment's never been an issue. He's always paid on time. That, that's what makes it hard. If payment was an issue, I have no problem telling someone goodbye. But it's the, uh, hey, I want to talk to you for 20 minutes or half an hour after it takes you an additional 
10 or 15 minutes to cut my lawn with this. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at at that. But um, overall, guys, like I say, uh, overall, I've been really happy with this. I do wish it was a little beefed up in the front end. Um, Motor-wise, I've had no issues with the motor. Uh, it's just mainly the frame. And uh, that's kind of a big deal right about now. And uh, the handle's a big concern. Uh, obviously, if it breaks again, my dad would have to re-weld it. And then it won't be able to fold down at all. Um, but a big shout-out to my dad for fixing this for me on his day off. Well, he's retired, but uh, he's always busy. But I do appreciate what he did. And uh, ultimately, I'll have to start learning how to weld to fix my own stuff. But anyways, guys, yes, if you're looking at this, um, the all-wheel drive's great. Uh, oh, the other thing is, these wheels, the tread, I've used it so much, the tread's worn down. So now it won't hold a hill. It actually slides on, the, on an angle. Going up and down this way is fine, but if you're, going, if you're going across this way, the thing slides down. It doesn't have any grip left in it. I don't know how much the new wheels are. Um, like I say... I, uh, I'm going to talk to my Cub Cadet dealer. Um, I don't feel they pushed the wrong thing at me. Um, obviously, I couldn't afford $2,600 for a Turf Master. Um, I was literally on spending $1,200 or $1,300 on a Time Master. Um, but obviously, I may have to reconsider for next year. Uh, Engine-wise, it's great. The cut quality, I'm very happy with it. It's done a lot for me. I really rely on this. So when it does break, <laughs> I... You know, I, yes, I do have a 30-year-old backup, but um, I think the point my dad was trying to make, if you spend the extra money on the heavy you do to you more, like a full commercial more, it may cost a lot up front, but over the long run, it doesn't cost as much to maintain. Uh, obviously, if I had to pay someone to weld this, it would have cost me a lot more. Um, it's going to cost me some money to get, to, if I want to re get the battery going again and put the cover on and maybe a new set of wheels, I don't know. Um... So yeah, there you go. Uh, for a residential mower, I think it's great. Um, for a commercial mower, well, I've had it three years, and this has been the most damage I've done to it in three years, but I've done a lot with it. And um, overall, I'm happy. It's, it's, it's sad when I see stuff like when, yes, I bumped into fences. I bumped into little sheds. I'm not ramming it. I'm just bumping into it because you get into tight corners. So... I don't feel I abuse stuff, but I do use it regularly. And if it's not meant for commercial use, then this is what you're going to expect to have happen. So if you're a good welder and you're fine with it, that's okay. If not, then maybe you should consider something heavier duty. Like I know Xmark makes a commercial version of a 21 inch. Um, and I think Cub Cadet, I think they have some uh, heavy duty ones. I don't know if it's the same quality as the Xmark or not, but... Um, so there's my two cents for a three-year review on this. Uh, like I say, guys, the all-wheel drive's great. Um, I know I said that before. Uh, I really don't want to throw this thing under the bus. I really enjoyed it. It's just disheartening when you start seeing damages on it. But then you have to take into account why and, re and reset for next year. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments about this video, like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. And uh, take care for now.